Well, good morning, everybody. It's Pastor Andy. Today is June the 22nd, and we're looking at Psalm chapter 108 together. Psalm 108 is actually the combination of two other psalms. If you take the first few verses down through verse 5, you have a quotation from Psalm 57. And then from verse 6 down to the end, you have a quotation from Psalm 60. So here the writer of this psalm takes two older psalms and makes one new song. And God can take an old song and make it a new song in our life. And I love that phrase and that, that thought that he can take something that we get used to and make it fresh again and new to us. And, and how many times has he done that in our life? I was thinking about different songs that have made a difference in me and how when I've listened to them, uh, spiritual songs and hymns and, and, and all of that, and how they held something very special, and then over time you forget about them. And then when you hear them again, it like sparks this thing inside of you again, and you get excited, and, and you think, man, this is a great song, and this means so much to me, and it takes you back to what God had been doing in your life. And that's what happened here with this psalmist. He takes these combination of these two other psalms, puts them together for a new song to the Lord. What's the theme of this song? Well, he starts off with praise to the Lord. Then he goes and talks about God's promises. And then he ends with a prayer. And that should be the pattern for our life. Prayer, praise, and promises. That's the way we should live. We live in prayer to God, bringing our requests before him. We live praising him. I love the way it starts off. Verse one, my heart is confident in you, O God. No wonder I can sing your praises with all my heart. Down to verse three, I will thank you, Lord, among all the people. I will sing your praises among the nation. He starts off praising the Lord, and that's the way we should start every day is praising God, lifting him up for who he is and what he's done and how special he is in our life. Then he goes into the promises and talks about how the promises to uh, God's people. And we should remember the promises of God in our life. And what he has promised us is that he'll never leave us, he'll never forsake us, that we are his children, that he loves us, that he cares about us. There are so many prayer promises and so many promises of God for the believer in his word that we should grasp onto them every single day and hold on to them. So we begin with praise. Then we go to God's promises, and then he closes in prayer. He talks to God. He says in verse 12, Oh, please help us against our enemies, for all human help is useless. With God's help, we will do mighty things, for he will trample down our foes. And that is the truth. Verse 12, with God's help, we will do mighty things. And there is a mighty work for us to do today. God has a mighty work that only you can do. That's it. Just you. That's how much he loves you. That's how much he's interested in your life is he has a plan just for you, just for today. But here's the thing, if you don't do it, who's going to? And if I don't do the plan that he's given for me, who is going to? So it's important for us to know God's plan and to follow God's plan. He cares, he loves us, he's there with us. He wants us to know what it is. So we start the day off with praise to the Lord. Then we rest in his promises and then we pray about everything. I hope that you'll follow that pattern today and that you'll follow it in your life. You'll get into these Psalms and see what God has for you. Until tomorrow, God bless you and have a great day.